to Brenda Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, I want to share the combination of Node 3 using SphereChalk and Geometry Nodes in Blender. Basically, allowing you to kind of generate a text object. And then on top of that, uh, with Geometry Nodes, uh, you can simply use Curve uh, Geometry Nodes to instance this Icosphere. But on top of that, you can also control the the instance objects. All right, so this is really cool, and you can do this using Blender 3.0. So let me explain the whole thing from the start. So with SphereChop, you can generate text object, right? Text object, and with text objects, um, you can output as normal text object, which you can modify whatever you like. But inside SphereChalk also, beside the text itself, we can process the data and, if, and then kind of filter it into separate curve and then mer merge it back into a single curve. So this is really like a SphereChalk thing. Oh, by the way, I'm using this mesh filter because without the mesh filter, the curve will be a little bit weird. So just use mesh filter just for you to know. Anyway, this little setup generate text curve for geometry nodes. I think this should be should be something that geometry nodes can do itself. But anyhow, let's take a look. We can we can actually offset this so it's clear what's going on. So now this is like a single text object and we if we go to geometry nodes we can use as usual we can use the the count so we can generate instance along the curve and we can also use length be careful with the length you might go too small and then it gets really slow so here I'm instancing the cone so cone have the top and bottom and you can just modify it and I also rotate it 90 degrees because if you look at this uh, this is like a normal curve path normal curve path with a with radius that I can control actually for now we have this cone that's being instanced on the curve if I zero this out so the cone will follow the path of the curve so this is maybe this is what you want and I mean with with the text itself I think the tilt is a little bit off so you might want to rotate the tilt slightly so it follows the curve of the, the text but anyhow I think 90 degrees seems to be correct as the this thing is kind of pointing inside or outside of the text I think we, we should talk about this a little bit more but anyhow uh, we have curve to points we have the other the other setup which is up here this is an icosphere that's being instanced along the path of the text and yeah same setup but here I'm also using a point scale and using the radius of the curve so if we are using like a normal curve we can scale uh, we can scale this using control s or alt s alt s okay alt s this is pretty much almost like a hidden hidden blender thing you can scale the radius of the curve this is actually really handy and something you need to know um, Maybe I should explain it more properly in the in a different video, but say this is a curve and you can extrude it and then you can scale the curve to get the Bezier. If we if we bevel it and then we option S uh, start scaling this this guy. We can use this curve with geometry nodes, right? 
let's do that but it does it tends to disappear because what you need to do is to zero out the depth this is something to keep in mind okay it's really strange and it's almost kind of like hidden but just for you to be aware of so this is a I will show you more clearly with the, the spreadsheet if I turn this on um, some of the options disappear let's see uh, if I plug that in there Okay, should be, this is what I want to show you. This is the curve as it is when we, before we process it using geometry nodes, it has this radius value. If we increase the depth, the value disappear. Okay, so it's become something else. We want this to be zero so we can actually access the data of the radius that we can plug into geometry nodes instant. Uh, the same note if you are using sapling sapling tree or if you go curve this is sapling tree it's generating curve by default the, the bevel is on so if you use with use this with geometry nodes with sapling it will disappear and we uh, we def definitely we don't want that so with the curve being still being selected zero out the, the depth now we can actually see the curve being instanced along the sapling all right so this is something to keep in mind and i'm using this radius without the radius it's just gonna be the same instant radius scale we, we probably need to um, kind of math multiply the the value together but just keep in mind um, about this Okay, so this is like a yeah, basically using curve in sapling mode or in a text mode or like a normal curve. It's uh, kind of pretty interesting. We definitely definitely need a, need a way to math to use attribute math to multiply the value. So this radius need to be multiplied before and maybe maybe this multiplier needs to be to go outside so for each and every objects here we can have different radius Okay, now it should be pretty clear. Sapling, <coughs> text curve objects, and normal curve object. They are all related and you can control the, the radius and you can instance geometry along it. All right, so hopefully this is useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.